Have you imagined what the world would be without engineering? There would be no planes to travel to far places, no boats to cruise and transport goods around the globe. There would be no roads and bridges to move from one place to another, no office buildings to work on, no factories to produce the goods we need, no schools to learn in, no houses to live in, no hospitals to go when we are sick, no supermarkets and shops to buy food and clothes, and even no parks to play and relax in. All that surrounds us and that we use allows us to enjoy better lives. Food, safety, leisure, entertainment. And all that is due to engineering. Engineering has always been part of man's history and will always be. A fact is that engineering is there even when you can't see it. Take the COVID-19 crisis, for instance. Could we have endured safely the lockdown without engineering? Engineers have invented and bring us services which our daily lives came to depend on, such as drains and sewers that keep our homes sanitized and healthy, potable water we use to drink and cook, electricity we use to power appliances, appliances such as televisions to keep us entertained, or computers that allow us working and studying from home. These devices themselves were created by engineers. The mobile phone keeping us connected to the world, or our Wi-Fi and the internet, and even the vehicles that bring us food and all sorts of important deliveries. We survive, we live, and we progress due to engineering. Engineering is definitely everywhere, but it walks hand in hand with science too to drive human progress. Science is a subject you will have done in your GCSEs, where you were shown how it learns and describes the world we live in. Engineering, on its hand, takes that knowledge and applies it to solve problems and make our life easier. In science, you were shown the scientific method. It works by observing a phenomenon, devising a theory to explain it, making experiments to validate that theory, and finally turning it into a law. Engineering continues from there, using what science found to solve a problem related with a human need. The engineering process involves designing or improving an application of scientific knowledge that makes our life easier, and goes all the way to implement it finally in our everyday lives. Because it tackles a large range of problems, engineering in fact embodies a huge selection of skills and knowledge, where anyone wanting to do this subject can find their place. Let's take a simple example like a career in the automotive industry. This is an area dedicated to find solutions to a very specific human need, which is moving people or goods from one place to the other by land. You may work in engine design, applying the principles of the science of gases to build car engines able to convert chemical energy into kinetic energy. You may also work in the design of the car itself, taking into account all what is necessary to create an environment capable of holding persons or goods whilst in transit, together with all other extra devices needed to run the engine or the features of that environment. You may also be involved in the procedures related with the maintenance of the car to ensure it keeps running well or even its repair when something goes wrong. Engineering is present throughout the whole cycle, but in fact does not end here. Overarching, there are engineers working in the business aspect, how to make money to keep the business producing and developing the goods it manufactures. The management side, how to bring together all the resources, human and physical, to create and implement a solution. And even the client service side. Often, engineers need to understand the human need, which is what the client desires. These skills, technical, business, and management, are all skills any engineer learns during its training. They give engineers an amazing ability to solve any problem. Do you see yourself fitting here? If yes, and you are curious about how things work. You are creative with a mind that enjoys making new things. You think you are hands-on, 
maybe finding yourself trying to fix or disassemble things at home. You are also comfortable with math and science, and you think you have a talent to finding solutions to practical problems, then engineering is for you. Choosing to study engineering brings many advantages, even if in the end you don't end up being an engineer. It brings prestige. Engineering involves maths and science, so it's a hard subject, and not everybody has what it takes to do it. It also prepares you for success. You have to learn so many different things that you become highly adaptable and focused in solving problems. In fact, a large portion of the CEOs in the FTSE 100 companies, they are engineers. It also allows you to tackle any problem, not only by the varied skills you gain, but by the confidence having all that knowledge and capability brings. It provides financial security. Our society is ever more technological and engineers are highly sought. Finally, you can change the world. All that engineers do has a direct impact in the world and the lives of people. And engineering is one of the best areas to gain that feeling of accomplishment and that you have made the world a better place. So if you are convinced in studying engineering, then why should you do it at Westminster Kingsway College? To start with, the college is located in central London. It's got a great atmosphere and many famous former students. Its engineering program also enjoys great reputation and is always oversubscribed. In fact, according to the wording organization, WKC students are within the top 10% achieving distinctions in the modules they complete across the UK. And also, over 95% of our students that apply to university manage to secure a place, with the program sending students every year to Russell Group Universities and many high reputation courses in engineering in the UK. Furthermore, an even larger majority is able to meet their first choice. Westminster Kingsway College runs a BTEC course in engineering, which is a vocational course equivalent to A-levels, but where applications rather than pure theory are focused in greater detail. Most assessment is done through coursework. Only three modules out of 16 are not assessed through coursework. And in the program, you will acquire basic knowledge in the theory underlying the major areas of engineering. You will apply that knowledge to understand the main applications and devices found in engineering. And finally, you will gain practical skills in solving problems and designing solutions to human needs, creating, building, assembling, and testing designs. The program is also tailored having progression into higher pathways in mind, such as university or degree apprenticeships, and into any area, civil, mechanical, aerospace, electrical, etc. And for students wishing to target universities high up in the league tables, it allows to be combined with A-level maths, provided you had a maths grade in your GCSE that meets the requirements for that program. And finally, it offers a set of highly competent teaching staff, which are focused on students' success, both academic as personal. The teaching team is very proactive and continuously seeks the application of innovative tools that allow, for instance, the deployment of contents for students, the easy submission of work, and quick feedback. It is also very focused in terms of physical resources that target skills for the future. This means things like 3D printing or the use of CNC platforms, also the use of industrial standard design software for electronics and mechanics, and a strong focus in the use of microcontrollers. All this is engineering at Westminster Kingsway College. Are you in?